Gang, 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 what's poppin' with y'all, man? <clears throat> Welcome back to the Street University, man. I am the host, Connor Slaughter. Y'all already know what up. Hit that like button. Why I eat this cup of noodles. <clears throat> and chop it up with y'all. With y'all on out there, man. Step into your power. That's what I'm on. Stepping into your power, your true power, your true self. Smash that like button if you love yourself, gang. Smash that like button if you love your fucking self. Because a lot of you motherfuckers who don't smash that like button... I'm just forced to believe you don't let your fucking self. You can't. You can't possibly love yourself, gang. You ain't stepped into your full power yet. You still making excuses. You know what I'm saying? You still slipping. You still slacking. Not enough work. Not enough groundwork, right? You don't love yourself, gang. We can tell when a nigga love himself or a woman love himself and when he don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure we all can tell, but at the end of the day, you really got to love yourself, gang, and love everything else around you, you know? And your demeanor will tell it all. Your demeanor will tell it all, gang. <clears throat> Piece of hair was in my shit. I hate that. I know I just dropped that shit up, you know? At the end of the day, though, your demeanor going to tell it all, you know? A lot of people's characteristics tell so much about them, and they tell you what they're ready for, what they ain't ready for, what they're up against, and what they, you know, winning against them. At the end of the day, it's going to either scale high or scale low, right? It's going to scale high or low. Scale, hit that like button. We're in the time right now, man, where you got to step into your power, gang, and you really got to exert that full power of yourself, my nigga, and show the world that you got potential. Show the world that you ain't nothing to play with. Show a motherfucker how you coming and how you bumming. Show them how you stamping, you know what I'm saying, with that iron foot of yours. Show motherfucker you standing on business. Teach these motherfuckers about you and everything about you. And even teach yourself a little bit about you because, look, right now is the time, gang. It's the best time to be alive. I ain't going to lie to you. It's the best time to step into that power, man. Let that energy rule. This is one of the best moments. <clears throat> when I say one of the best moments, is one of the best because not too many people don't, you know, survive to uh, see this time right now, gang. Not too many people is alive seeing this time. Some done died. They done lost the battle. Uh, we still here fighting strong. And we still here trying to be entrepreneurs, gang. Me personally, I want to be an entrepreneur. My motherfucker said, well, I want to own half the world. I was just looking at Boosie and Vlad, you know, Boosie on his estate, gang. That nigga house big as hell. Boosie got a big ass house, gang. I'm talking about, man, that's undeniable. That motherfucker, that boy was putting in hard work. He putting in hard work, man. It take a lot of work to get that type of, you know what I'm saying? That type of benefit, man. It take a lot of work, man. You know what I'm saying? Hard work, dedication, grinding. It take a lot of self-believing. Mm-hmm. Take a lot of oodles and noodle nights. Self-believing, self-motivating, self-pushing, self-advertising, self-marketing, uh, uh, self-thriving. You know what I'm saying? To get where he at right now. And that's the that's the goal I'm on. I'm trying to aim there. You know what I'm saying? I want a hundred million by a hundred thousand at a time, gang. Period. And I know it's gonna take some hard work to do that. So I'm willing to put that hard work in. But the question is, is you willing to put that in? Yeah, you watching this video. Is you willing to put that hard work in? Is you that same person? Is you gonna be that same person that's down? You know what I'm saying? To to the wheels fall off. To put that work in. Put the work ethic that you got to put in the groundwork. I'm just saying, because too many people out here run their mouth and they'll tell you they're going to do this and they're going to do that. They're going to put some work in. They don't put shit in. All they do is run their mouth. You feel me? When it's time to put the work in, they turn it back on you. They turn the other cheek on you. You know? Mm, fuck. And, and that's what type of people we're dealing with out here in the world, gang. That's why you can't be dependent on nobody. That's why you always got to depend on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I'm a loner and I really don't like depending on nobody. I don't really like putting my all on one horse, gang. And that, that one horse could be that somebody that you always got to depend on. So, you know, I try to make sure that I got another way to lean, another obstacle uh, to crack open. You know what I'm saying? Another outlet. While other folks, they remain stuck in the same geo prism, chasing the same outlet. Man, I want five streams of income, six streams of income, seven streams of income. I want DJ Khaled income. Now... Literally his pocket money, but the income type of swag, the, the way it's flowing in, the, the business part of the income. That's what I want. I'm going to have a thousand businesses. I want to, you know, be invested in real estate. I'm going to do some of all of that, gang. You know what I'm saying? With the thanks to y'all, I'm going to do some of all of that, gang. 
at the end of the day, I want to make sure that <clears throat> I own a piece of everything. I want to make sure that I leave something that I own to the kids, man. Multiple things, gang. Because we weren't left that. You know what I'm saying? Our generation wasn't left that. We came straight out the mud. <clears throat> like, they was asking uh, uh, Offset. They was like, damn, do it feel different when you, you know, how you treating your kids. You, They basically spoiled. And y'all came from the mud. You know, he said he still make sure they understand what it feel like to have nothing. He still make sure, you know what I'm saying, they understand uh, what it feel like to really work for something, really put footwork in, groundwork in. And I like that. I respect him for that, gang. Salute to Offset. I respect you for that, gang. A lot of parents out here need to do that. A lot of parents out here need to do just that. Stop being friends with your child, man. You know what I'm saying? Be that parent that's going to put that foot down and that know how to be, you know, uh, 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 nice and lenient at times, but still know how to be sturdy and strict. You know what I'm saying? Still know how to come and and, and and put that muscle on that ass just in case, whether you man or female. You know what I'm saying? Because I see plenty of tough women out there raising kids, too. Don't let that fool you. Don't let a bitch tell you, oh, I can't do nothing. It's too tough. No, we see bitches out here. They whooping boys and girls ass. They, I'm talking about nigga. They the daddy and the mama. And vice versa, it's some, it's some dads out here playing mama and daddy, which it ain't respected, but who gives a fuck? We don't give a fuck with nobody else out there. Don't respect. We care about the people that respect it. So hit that like button. You know what I'm talking about? If you can uh, respect a, a parent that take care of their they, they duties, man. But like I said, it's a lot of motherfuckers on the street right now running around. They not taking care of their duty from kids to business, from rent to such and such, everything else. They not. They ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? They wasting time. They wasting life, and that shit crazy, gang. And I'm telling y'all not to be one of them people that do that. You know what I'm saying? You got to be an elevating person. You got to be a, a flourishing person. Yes, sir. Got to flourish. Rise to the top. Ain't no word but up. You hear me? I love y'all, man. Y'all stay safe out there, man. Make sure you watch your circle before they murk you, gang. You feel me? Stay tapped in. Stay investing. Stay believing in yourself, gang. I'm out. Gang, 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 what's up, man? This your boy, Colonel Slaughter, man. Welcome back to the Street University. I'd like to thank all y'all who came out, you know, gave me a little bit of your time by coming to my channel, both channels watching the video. I really appreciate y'all, man. And those of y'all that did not hit the subscribe button as you step in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Those of y'all that did not hit that like button as you step in or step out, you feel me? Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Make sure my views match my likes, gang. So y'all can keep me in the algorithm and keep me moving and grooving, you feel me? How y'all have been doing, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know I love y'all. Without y'all, it wouldn't be a me. So, man, I'm out.